Trading can be a challenging and dangerous endeavor. To risk your hard-earned money in the hopes of earning a profit requires a lot of courage. However, there are numerous instances in history of investors who took that risk and profited from it. Consider yourself one of the fortunate investors who purchased a Tesla in 2009. But what if I told you that, even at this early stage in Tesla's long life cycle, you could be in a position akin to those fortunate bulls? The largest company to ever exist. From Goldman Sachs' bullish price target to Kathy Wood's absurd $3,000 per share valuation, let's explore the various variables influencing Tesla's stock and attempt to make sense of why a small investment in the business could have you reaping enormous returns. Oh, and did we mention the rumor about the Tesla network, a completely automated ride-hailing service that could make the business even richer? But before we talk about it all, please hit the like button and subscribe. In recent months, Wall Street has experienced some ups and downs with the financial market. Overall, things don't appear to be as terrible as they'd first appear. Late in 2022, when the FOMC started raising interest rates. Regarding Tesla, many seem eager to purchase the stock for 50 times what it generates per share. How probable is it that Tesla stock will appreciate as much as forecasted? Let's begin our search for hints in January 2022. Let's first hear from Mark Delaney. At the international financial banking, securities, and investment management company Goldman Sachs, Mark Delaney works as an analyst. He is renowned for covering Tesla and the car and transportation industries. Mark Delaney maintained his buy recommendation while increasing his price estimate for Tesla stock in January 2022 from $375 to $400. He thinks Tesla is outperforming the competition and has the finest design for an electric vehicle. He also believes that Tesla's financial performance will benefit from the increased interest in electric vehicles among people around the globe. In addition to Mark, Elon Musk himself has a deal with Kathy Wood. Musk has stated to his staff that, provided Tesla continues on its current course, he concurs with Kathy Wood's $3,000 per share valuation of the business provided by ARK Innovations. Kathy has long been a supporter of Tesla. She began purchasing Tesla stock in 2013 and has since been an outspoken supporter of the business. One of the biggest holdings in several of her ARK Invest funds is Tesla, and according to her, the company will rise to much higher levels in the years to come. Despite the impending release of electric vehicles from Ford, GM, and Toyota, renowned investor Kathy Wood continues to have confidence in one of her favorite companies, Tesla. It is obvious that Kathy Wood's confidence in the business is well-placed as Tesla continues to push the envelope of what is possible with electric vehicles, and it appears that the market concurs with Kathy Wood's assessment. Tesla's stock price is still increasing in defiance of the opposition despite any short-term ups and downs it may encounter. With a contribution of 60% of expected value and more than half of anticipated EBITDA earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization in 2026, Tesla's prospective robo-taxi business line is a major driver. Sanctuary declared. In all of our simulations, we predict that by 2026, 57% of the company's revenue will come from electric vehicles, though this percentage will be significantly lower than robotaxi income from the April 7th grand opening of Tesla's $1.1 billion factory in Texas. Elon Musk made a lofty pledge. He announced that Tesla was working on a brand new vehicle that would be a robotaxi, or to put it another way, a robotic form of a ride-sharing service like Uber or Lyft, with a futuristic design and the ability to operate without a human driver. Musk stated that Tesla's vehicle would be able to drive itself by the end of 2022, with fully self-driving FSD being a key component for this, though he did not provide a timeline or any visuals. While predicting that Tesla will commercialize autonomous ride hailing in 2024, ARC, a fund that invests in disruptive innovation, issued a warning that the simulation they performed was highly reliant on the year Tesla starts robotaxis. On Valentine's Day, Piper Sandler increased its price estimate for Tesla stock as a way of expressing its affection. A financial services company with headquarters in the U.S. is called Piper Sandler.
They offer a variety of financial services, such as asset management, commercial banking, equity, and research, regarding their opinions on Tesla. In January 2022, Piper Sandler had a comparatively optimistic outlook for the business. Alexander Potter, a Piper Sandler analyst, increased his stock price estimate for Tesla from $400 to $410 by citing a rise in his confidence in the company's long-term plans. Potter cited Tesla's dominance in the electric vehicle industry, advancements in autonomous driving, and expansion. The expansion of the energy storage industry was a major driver of this optimistic view. According to Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas, Tesla is currently leading the electric car market, which is similar to a race. He likened it to a marathon and said that while everyone else was either at mile 2 or still tying their shoes, Tesla was at mile 21. According to Jonas, Tesla's recent record car deliveries demonstrate that the company's standing will improve as the competition continues. He increased his estimate of the stock's value from $400 to $433 because he predicted that the manufacturer would sell about 2 million vehicles in 2022 to also satisfy the growing demand. In the past few years, it has established two new factories, one in Austin, Texas, and the other in Berlin, Germany. The building of a new gigafactory in Nuevo Leon, Mexico, which is anticipated to become the world's largest electric vehicle production facility with a $5 billion investment, is Tesla's most recent endeavor, however, and is expected to be more expensive than its previous ones. Tesla could start construction as early as March 2023, according to Governor Samuel Garcia of Nuevo Leon. The final permits for the factory's construction are almost ready to be issued. Elon Musk, the company's CEO, recently announced plans for the production of a next-generation vehicle. As a result, the first vehicles could be produced by Tesla in Mexico as early as next year. The specifics of the production schedule have not yet been given by Tesla. All of these adjustments will speed up processes and increase revenue for the business, with the brand new facilities in Mexico, Austin, and Berlin. By increasing its gross margins, Tesla will have more opportunities to boost its customer support. The company's development has been constrained by costs and net worth growth, but we are confident that Elon Musk will be able to manage any issues that may arise for the business in the future. It will be fascinating to observe how they resolve these issues. The cost of a Tesla vehicle, for instance, is still too expensive even with tax breaks and other government incentives for alternative technologies. Reviewing all available production figures, delivery rates, and deliveries, some experts predict that in 2023 there will be 90,000 deliveries of the Model X, 700,000 deliveries of the Model 3, and 1.1 million deliveries of the Model Y. As for Tesla's newest models, the CYBERTRCCA and the Tesla Semi, it is anticipated that the company will deliver 5,000 Cybertrucks in 2023 but that number will rise to 50,000 in 2024 and 4,750 deliveries of the semi in 2025. But if all of these models continue to perform well, Tesla's gross sales may increase. Early on, Tesla's management faced difficulties due to a lack of batteries to power their products. The plant in Nevada ought to address the battery issue the business is experiencing. The lithium-ion factory's planned footprint is more than 1.9 million square feet, and it will enable Tesla to produce more than 500,000 cars annually. Additionally, there is now more competition on the market for electric cars. Several major automakers, including Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Subaru, Ford, and BMW, intend to offer electric vehicles in the upcoming years. For instance, Ford offers the F-150 Lightning electric pickup vehicle and the Mustang Mach-E electric crossover SUV. Mercedes provides two electric vehicles, the EQ's luxury sedan and the EQC electric SUV. Subaru is working with Toyota to create the all-electric Solterra SUV, the i3 compact car, the X3 electric SUV, and the i4 electric sedan are just a few of BMW's electric vehicle types. As the industry transitions to electrification, many other manufacturers also have plans to introduce more EVs in the upcoming years. As a result, there will be more rivalry for Tesla's market share, and other tech firms might get involved.
It's encouraging to see that Tesla is currently far ahead of the competition, despite the fact that they still have a long way to go. You might have a sizable fortune if you own Tesla shares. Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this video to be useful, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next film.